Hello survivors and welcome to another video. In this video we're going to be looking at Princess who is a recently released promo and she is the 101st ascendable character and she is a strong character who is very much a defensive character from what it looks like. We'll look at her stats. She is actually you know, quite balanced with her stats even though the rest of her kit is quite defensive. She has nearly 1700 attack. She has exactly 1700 defense and 1439 HP. So the HP is on the low side. So you might want to work on that a little bit with her weapon or combat mods. Probably her combat mods is the way to go. Um, looking at her rush, 76 AP, deal 250% damage to one enemy, taunt and uh, and taunt up to three enemies for one turn. So she can taunt behind guardian shields with this because it's obviously a one, one person attack and the taunt will happen without damage to the other people. So the other people will get taunted regardless if they're behind guardian shields and so on. Um, this character regains up to 60% of their max HP, which is pretty nice. This character and one teammate gets pain split for three turns. Three turns is a long time. I think the majority of pain splits from what I've seen are two turn pain splits. Looking at her active, it is taunt and elusive. Taunt up to three enemies for one turn. This character gets elusive for two turns. So theoretically, you could taunt an entire team for one turn if you command her. Um... You probably wouldn't take her on an attack team though she has a lot of control but she's going to be mainly used on defense her her rush does not do much damage 250 percent is not a lot especially as it's only to one enemy so i mean the damage just seems like just so she does something and it, it might have even been better if she just taunted three no damage um because then she'd have a guaranteed taunt behind shields behind guardian shields but she does a little bit of damage. She's going to do a little bit of damage. Um, her specialist skill is great. It's one of the best um, specialist skills, especially for a character which you want to be defensive because she's going to get attacked with the taunt. Um, if she gets attacked three times, she's going to get boosted, you know, 90% um, defense after those first three attacks, which is going to be really nice. So that's how Indomitable works. Her weapon, she has got a, a base weapon already, and it is interesting interesting i you know i've been scratching my head a little bit about this in terms of how well it could work it's got 30 percent defense on there which is great you probably want to get ap on attack on there i've seen people say maybe ap on defense still not a big fan of ap on defense personally i know she's going to get taunted the attack she's going to gain more ap per attack on with ap on attack than she would with three people attacking her with ap on defense i'm fairly certain or it's going to be very similar you're generally going to avoid this character if you can um because of the tier three when it says when taking damage a better chance to cause 600 bleed damage for one turn to the enemy now i think we looked at um davies on my stream which was 200 bleed damage for three turns so exactly the same but i think it was to two characters we can look at that in a sec but if you have a defense team where she's the only window on your team and people are, are kind of see her as the easy attack you can do quite a bit of damage with that. If you've got Lacerator Shiva, not a great defense team character, however, um, on your defense team, you know, you're going to be able to stack those bleeds up, double those bleeds. Um, I'm, I'm not 100% sold on the on the weapon. If it was two turns on the bleed and it was like 300, I would prefer it. It sounds strange, it's same damage, but if, if you want it to work in conjunction with something like Lacerator, it has to last a little bit longer. Um, Otherwise, you could just miss out on the attacks, especially on a defense tune character. It's just going to be, it's just going to be random, basically, who gets attacked, whether they got bleed or not, and whether Lacerator is going to go off. She is going to be really, really tanky, though. Just straight up with her thirty percent defense, she's already going to have over two thousand um, defense on on base. Then you're going to have her behind probably a defensive leader. Let's say Carl another forty percent. You're probably going to have like a, probably at least five hundred. Uh, mods on her with defense maybe you're going to go for defense set as well you're going to have tons of defense i would get some hp though she's going to be massively lacking with hp um so she's not going to take much damage she's going to be hard to take down regardless of whether you know she's taunting characters or you're actually trying to force your attacks on her her rush the rush damage you're going to do against her is going to be very very minor as well now i will show you some gameplay but there isn't much to show because pretty much from what i've seen is only walker stages on the uh on the roadmap right now so, but we'll, we'll, we'll give it a quick look okay so i took her behind a carl not great for a walker team but we'll get to see her defense and as you can see behind carl with the 30 percent weapon she's got 3000 defense and she's got 2300 hp this is her maxed out of course now you've got to remember she will have bonus from 
more bonuses that you put on the on the weapon let's say you go for huge ap on attack you're going to get five percent more defense on that weapon as well so that's going to be a little bit more defense no combat mods obviously because she's a you know roadmap character now i love her her attack animation it's like this lunging spear attack like you'll see it i love it and it made me actually think wouldn't it be cool if you could have certain characters that could do like line attacks with their basic attacks maybe not 100 percent of the time just a percent you know a better chance to do a line attack because of the weapon type they've got or something like that um it's a shame some there's some some really nice ideas like i was thinking maybe sharp items would have a better chance to bleed that sort of thing obviously it's a bit too late for this but you get you get the thing i haven't taken a guardian just because i have had complaints in the past about being able to see the character in in, in motion but i do i do like the animation the animation looks cool she hasn't got much damage but she is a defensive tune so it's all good we'll, we'll do a couple more attacks just so you can see it. i'll get her rush off as well headshots but i do i do like the animation i think she looks she looks interesting um and we'll get her rush on the next stage but she gets she's gonna have tons of defense she's gonna be really really tanky so her her rush isn't gonna do much against walkers because i don't think you can taunt walkers you can see the sort of damage it can do so we're gonna go up against someone who's got only 700 defense let me see if i can get someone who's better i think they're all gonna be around the same so the, the, the rush is not gonna do a great deal of damage even though they've got low defense 600s so against someone with you know 1500 2000 it's not going to do much damage but it's about the taunt all three of these characters will be taunted if they're humans and that's how it's going to work on a defense team basically um so we'll just give one more look at the animation see imagine just to get that line attack because it does go quite far watch the spirit it goes like it goes almost back here right, it goes it goes to the second person i do like it if, it, if it's a character further away the lunge looks nicer as well so we'll, we'll do a, a further away character this one up here Watch the lunge. Ugh, I love it. I love it. So I, I, I like the character, but it's gonna it's gonna require a very specific team. Um, the problem you've got is, I mean, she will be a window. That is the thing. But in in a way that kind of is helpful for her. If she is your only window, maybe you want to have AP on defense, just AP up on defense, just so that she gains her AP quicker. She's gonna be bleeding people. It's gonna be interesting. But um. Yeah, that's Princess. She's going to be really defensive. Like I say, she's going to have a, she's going to have a specific fit in a certain team. Um, you could have a really tanky team behind Carl with her in it. You know, if you have revives as well, other characters will become key characters, and she's going to run riot. If you have got revives and stuff, you're going to want AP on attack because she's going to be fairly ignored. Um, so you want her to be gaining AP otherwise. Um, but yeah, that's a, just a quick look at, at Princess, who is the the hundred first ascendable. Like I said and the latest promo to be released um do tell me if you pulled for her mama deadhead did do a 40 pull you want to go check out her video on her channel um she i i won't i won't spoil it for you but she got she got I, I like her luck i like her luck um but that's the end of my video guys thank you very much for tuning in and as always keep on surviving guys keep on surviving <laughs>